Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for the continued support of my channel. Today's video is going to be all rose. Listen, rose is that floral, okay? But I feel like that note as a dominant component of a fragrance, that doesn't get enough love, all right? So we're going to be focused on 10 rose bangers. And when I tell you this list is to die for, you don't wanna miss this one, all right? So without further ado, let's get into this list. All right, you guys, so before we actually get into this fragrance list, I need to share with you all something that was gifted to me. I was gifted the most beautiful Rose Arrangement by Roses Forever. Now, Roses Forever is a New York-based company, and what they specialize in is handcrafted eternity roses. Oh my gosh, you know what? I am that type of person where I feel like I love having fresh flowers in the home. I go through these phases of that. And then it's like I'm kind of turned off by because you've got to change out the water. You know, it's a lot to really keep your arrangements alive. <laughs> this is why this is such an amazing idea, okay? you just let them be. You don't have to add any water to these. You don't have to make sure they get light. You don't have to do anything, but just let them sit and they add so much beauty to your home. So right now we are certainly in gift giving mode and I think this would make a beautiful gift. Now the Roses Forever arrangements, they come in a wide variety of different sizes, different styles. They have all kinds of colors. It's just endless really. And you know what? If you go to their website and look at the selections, you will be blown away. These arrangements will last for at least one year. Now I'm familiar with these type of arrangements. I know people that have had theirs for over a year. They are completely natural and they are preserved with the use of natural oils. So you don't have to worry about anything being toxic while it's in your home. Okay, so my arrangement has the beautiful logo here, Roses Forever. It's a high quality velvet material wrapping the box. And then inside I have these beautiful ivory colored roses. These actually stay in my living room. And let me tell you, if you give this to someone, they are going to love this. So keep this in mind for not only Christmas, but Mother's Day, Valentine's Day. I mean, this is literally the gift that's gonna keep on giving, okay? It's going to beautify your home. And every time you look at it, you're just going to be in awe at how beautiful they look. Okay, and Roses Forever has been so kind to actually offer my wonderful family here on YouTube a $20 off discount code. So if you go through the website you order, you can actually use the code Sharita20 to save $20 off of any arrangement they have. All right, and like I said, keep in mind, they have an array of sizes, okay, in different styles. So if you have, you know, a big budget or a small budget, you're sure to find something that you'll love. All right, so let's get into these fragrances, you guys. The first one on this list is from Erin, okay? Erin Lauder. This is Estee Lauder's granddaughter. And this is called Rose to Grass. And when I say it is named perfectly, this is such a luxurious rose. When I smell this, I am instantly transported to rose fields and grass, okay? It is morning, the dew is on the rose petals, and I am just walking through that field, taking in all of the fresh smells, okay? This is such an elevated rose. This is very clean, very fresh. It has the most beautiful opening for a rose scent. It's very natural and true to form rolls, but this opening is almost like it's honeyed. And to my understanding, the Centifolia rose, which is like a French rose that they use in here, um, to my understanding, is only found in grass. And it has a very like sweet, slightly fruity, sometimes honeyed nuance. And I actually pick 
up on that when I smell this. This is so beautiful. This is a very luxurious rose and there, there's like a really um, aquatic presence to this. So it's watery, slightly sweet. It's very musky. It is the musk, in my opinion, that really sets this apart. And beautiful, beautiful daytime scent. Beautiful sillage, but it's not gonna be anything overpowering, so you can absolutely wear this to work. But, you know, this is just going to be the quintessential, very soft, flirty, luxurious, feminine roll smell. That is what I get from this. And I think it is absolutely worth getting your nose on. Now this one retails for quite a bit more than I think most of them in this range because of the type of rose that was used in this. But to me, it's gorgeous and I think it's worth it. A beautiful, beautiful rose scent. Again, that is Rose to Grass by Okay, Anne. you guys, so the next one on this list is going to be Tobacco Rose and this is by BDK Paris. You guys, I love rose. I love tobacco. I love gourmand. Okay, we don't need to discuss this any further. We can go on to the next fragrance, just buy it. No, I'm just joking, seriously. But this scent is so beautiful. It is a very smooth tobacco. This is a very dark, deep, sexy, sensual rose. This is the perfect date night rose. And to me, it's sweet, but it's also very unisex. So a guy could absolutely um, wear this scent. I feel like this is reminiscent of Oud Bouquet in the way they've done the rose here. To me, when this starts to dry down, you're left with the most beautiful, okay? Smooth, spicy tobacco. That's what you're left with, with of course the rose. But to me, this just takes me to Cuba. This is Cuba vacation date night. That is where this takes me. Okay, so you've got this beautiful, sweet tobacco, okay? We're walking through the humidors, okay? We are smelling all of the cigars in the boxes, okay? Sweet, beautiful, luscious, fragrant tobacco. That is what this is giving me. Then I automatically go to just these beautiful, chocolatey spicy notes and that's taking me to like cuban hot chocolate <laughs> so sometimes when you have a cuban hot chocolate it's going to have those chocolatey nuances but with pepper and cinnamon and those notes are in here so you've got notes of pink pepper in the top notes okay you've got plum lemon heart notes are rolls from turkey You've got cinnamon, you've got chocolate accords. And then in the base, you've got tobacco absolute. You've got patchouli, and you're gonna get a few leathery nuances from uh, the labnum that's in the base. Now, this fragrance is got quite a lemony touch to it. So I would not say just go out and buy this because it is pricey. Definitely get your nose on it. But yeah, to me, this is this is just giving me Cuba in a bottle. This is deep, luscious, dark red rose, okay? Chocolate, cinnamon, spicy. And, and it's just the tobacco for me. I mean, the tobacco is just done absolutely beautiful in this fragrance. And yeah, I'm in love, okay? I am in love. Again, that is Tobacco Rose by BDK. All right, you guys, so you know I could not do a rose video without the queen. This is Delina, you know her, you love her. Look, I'm not gonna spend too much time on her, but this is the most beautiful, youthful, sophisticated rose there is, okay? This scent has lychee and rhubarb in the opening. It's not for everybody, but it is for me, okay? Once you get past the opening, it definitely calms down into the most beautiful rose, incense, and woody scent. This is perfect for day or night. This 
is in my opinion a little bit more appropriate for the spring and summer um, and I will stick to maybe the exclusive for fall and winter just because the fruits in here really give it a you know a summer spring vibe to me so again that is the beautiful Delina by Parfums de Mar. All right you guys next up on the list is newer to my collection this is the stunning Rose Cherie by Guerlain. Okay this rose is so bright it is very pink it is luscious it is luxurious and very powdery so this is going to be your powdery rose um this one i would say you definitely need to test before you buy it because on my skin sometimes just depending on you know the time of month this can get very tart and almost like a bit tangy. And I don't know why, but some rose scents just do that on my skin. Um, but this is a gorgeous rose scent. It's very fresh, it's clean. And to me, it has beautiful sillage longevity. I mean, it's Guerlain, so you're going to get a quality fragrance. I love this for daytime. This is a beautiful, very powdery. Like I said, you have to like powdery to like this one, but it's a very beautiful, powdery, luxurious rose scent. That again is Rose Cherie by Guerlain. Okay, you guys, and the next one up is La Fille de Berlin, and this is by Serge Luton's. Now, I have a decant of this one. I've been testing it out. This is your very dark, deep, full body rose this scent is very green and mossy to me but this is a gorgeous stunning rose scent look at the juice i mean the juice says it all this is this is definitely a deep dark passionate oh red rose okay this one when you first spray it, it can start to get that tart um, feeling, just like I mentioned with the Rose Cherie, it can get a little tart. But to me, that goes away in the dry down. And what you're left with is actually quite a fresh, clean rose. There's a little aquaticness to it. But again, this is going to be very musky, very mossy, and just a beautiful, rose scent and in my opinion for night this is going to be your nighttime rose i feel like this scent is absolutely unisex um if you've never you know put your nose on it i highly suggest you do i got my decant from scent split and oh it's just so beautiful and it is a stunner perfect year round perfectly unisex again that is la fille de berlin by Serge Luton's. Okay, and this one up next is for my fruity floral girls. And I'm talking about this amazingly packaged Chevador by the House of Siage. Okay, can we just take a moment for the presentation, honey? This is French cut crystal, okay? The top is gold plated. Okay, and they have spared no effort. Okay, on the detail, look, even the inside is engraved with the name of the house and scent. Then on the outside, you have got real crystals, okay? These are real Sorowski crystals. Who would not want to receive this on Christmas Day? I don't know what female would not. This scent is a beautiful rose and fruit combination. So, so Chevador is so like grown up fruity floral, okay? This has strawberry, it has raspberry, and that is automatically gonna put you in a mind state of, okay, does this smell? Like I feel like Bur Burberry Her is a little bit too youthful for me. I gave that to my daughter. This is flirty, fruity rolls, but this is grown up, okay? This girl has a mortgage, okay? This is a stunner. I think there are about two or three different types of roses in this fragrance, but it is beautifully rounded off by vanilla and tonka bean. So this is a very feminine, 
very beautiful, flirty scent. This isn't anything that will be, you know, very loud and obnoxious. This one I feel like is a little bit more of an intimate scent, especially for the House of Siage. Um, nothing like <laughs> our beastly sister, uh, Passion Delamore. This one is definitely gonna wear a little closer to the skin, even though people will definitely be able to smell you, but it is just that feminine flirty girl. That's what this is. Perfect for spring and summer. Mm. But in the winter, I actually love layering this with chocolate greedy and then you automatically become like a rose chocolate fruit snack. That is what you will be. But this by itself is just absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful packaging with beautiful juice to match and that is Chevador by the House of Siage. All right, you guys, so clearly, I could not do a rose list without a rose coffee combo. And if I ain't talking about Tins Cafe, I'm talking about Delos. It's always gonna be one of them coming out of my mouth because the scents are just beautiful. This is Delox by the House of Tiziana Terenzi. And this rose is very similar to Intense Cafe. However, this one introduces a honey note. And this one is so smooth, okay? Intense Cafe, it really depends on your body chemistry, how that dries down. It can get very scratchy and screechy depending on, on who, who wears it. This one, smooth operator. That's what this what the Deluxe is, okay? This is so creamy. It is such a beautifully well-blended rose coffee combo, but you also have this abundance of vanilla and you have musk. And this is just going to be so amazing, okay, on a woman or a man. Men, please do not sleep on this. Do not sleep on this. It is such a fall winter stunner, but I think uh, when Paolo Terenzi made this, it was actually made for the uh, summer, spring and summer. So can you wear this year round? Yes, because I actually wear this year round. But I feel like when you're talking about rose and coffee, absolutely, you must bring this out in the fall or winter because this is got amazing sillage, beautiful, beautiful sillage, okay? Great longevity. This is just so beautiful. Now this runs for a little bit more, you know, than the Intense Cafe, but to me, it's it's well worth it. This is just beautifully, you know, crafted. And look at the bottle, like, come on now. Look at that, just gorgeous. This solid gold bottle. The top almost feels like it, like a plasticky leather. To, I don't know what this is, but it's it's beautiful, whatever. <laughs> Whatever's on the top. And then they have the detail, um, you know, with their little, house emblem around the neck. It's absolutely a must, okay? You must get your nose on this. If you're an Intense Cafe lover, or you like Intense Cafe, but you don't like to dry down, try this one, okay? Because I'm pretty sure you will love it. And this one I feel like is a little bit more linear um, than the Intense Cafe. So really I feel like what you're getting in that opening, it carries you throughout the fragrance, all right? And again, that is Deluxe by Tiziana Terenzi. Okay, now the next one is marketed towards men, but I feel like this is absolutely unisex. And I'm speaking of Lyric Man by the House of Am Amouage. Now, this scent is, it's rose, but when I tell you the way they have blended this scent, if there is, like if you have a guy, okay, and you want him to have a signature scent, this is it. This is the one. This is the cleanest, smoothest, oh, most intoxicating rose scent. It's almost like it's got this soapy vibe. It's got a saffron in there. It's got a little ginger and it's got a little greenness that the Angelica lends to the fragrance. It's got the incense. You know, incense will take something and just make it the most smooth, creamiest, 
consent. And that is what they have done with this. This is so beautiful. But when I tell you this works on a woman, this scent is so, especially for the house of, of Amwash, this is one of the most wearable scents that I put my nose on. Like so many of those are, you know, they're beautiful scents but there's always like a note or something that just does not sit well with me. That's why I still, to this day, you know, I haven't figured out what amouage I want. It's always something, you know, they are very niche. Okay. So if you're just getting the fragrance, don't even start with the house of amouage because your nose has to be matured to even appreciate most of those scents. But this one, I feel like is crowd pleasing. This is complex, but in the complexity, they were able to find simplicity because you don't smell anything popping out. This is beautifully blended and it's just a beautiful scent. I mean, this is, it's got a little bit of musk. You you can pick up on a little sandalwood. It's like woody, instancy, rose. That's what you get. That is what you're getting. It's got some spicy nuances, but it's not a spicy scent. It's fresh with the lime and the bergamot and the opening. And I mean, when a guy puts this on, okay, he is going to just smell so put together. This is just going to elevate whatever he's got on, what, he, what he's wearing. If he wears this fragrance, it's gonna take it up to a 10, like seriously. Beautiful rose scent, but it is very, like I said, very fresh and clean and just, so sophisticated, so sophisticated. Again, that is Lyric Man by Amor. Okay, so the last one on this list, but not least, okay, is the Oud and Rose combination. You knew it was coming. Fragrance Dubois, New York Fifth Avenue. This is, God dang. Sorry, I had to take a moment. This is more so a woody scent, okay? but you have an abundance of rolls. And so they come together and they create this ultra smooth, slightly sweet from the caramel, somewhat powdery scent. This is money, okay? This is wealth, this is rich. This is like the Oud Rolls combo to try, I'm telling you. And the thing about this, if you're new to oud, you can still pull this off. This is not a sharp oud. This is not barnyardy. This is so smooth, well blended. It's almost like it's it's like a clean oud. If it makes any sense, that's how beautiful and like and well done this oud is. It is not animalic at all. This is just a gorgeous, gorgeous rose wood scent so beautiful scent for fall and winter okay absolutely stunning and to me you're getting i would say a little bit above moderate um projection and longevity out of this now a lot of these scents from this house are not bee smoke they have a lot of natural ingredients um in their fragrances and i feel like those just don't you know, those don't last as long or project as far as something with all synthetic notes like a Montal or, you know, a Mancera. There's a reason why those last, you know, 24 hours on your skin. All synthetic notes, pretty much. This, all natural ingredients for the most part, but to me, they have great performance, okay? Um, I think these are worth the price point. They are very pricey, but I think they are definitely worth it. And this is just a very beautifully done, opulent rose scent, okay? Get your nose on it. Uh, scent splits, again, I think they, yes, they definitely have uh, a lot of uh, samples from this house. So definitely just try the range um, and, and let me know your thoughts, okay? So again, that is New York Fifth Avenue by Fragrance Dubois. All right, you guys, so that is our rose video for today. Do not forget to drop me your favorite rose scents, okay? Leave me a comment, let me know what are some you're putting your nose on, what are some that are just staples in your collection. I think everyone needs a fabulous rose scent in 
their wardrobe. And hopefully the ones that I've laid out here today are, you know, ones that you would consider smelling at least, you know? I think they're all stunners and yeah. So that is our video for today. Don't forget to like the video, okay? Also be sure you subscribe to the channel and I will catch you guys on the next one.